This is uh, this is excellent. Now there's less and less people has been here. I can follow two trucks still, but soon, soon it's gonna be just white no trucks. So quite soon, quite close to the area, I would like to camp, which is a near round lake here and do that little, uh, little hill that is over there it's this is the limit of the natural area now we're getting out so I will go if I try to find a place here to cross safely and be on the other side that's the plan yes we we'll get that beautiful so sometimes in the swamps because of the bacteries and the vegetables so it's a little bit warmer it could be that the ice is not that thick so if I go through the ice it should be should be here but it's been really cold the last days Looks like it was okay. Now yeah, we're on the sun again. Boom. Some hunting as well. Oh. So look at that beautiful plastic kind of place I'm looking for. This is fat wood everywhere. So I heard some shots. It's possible people are hunting there because it's allowed to hunt. And I guess it's a good hunting place uh, because we're just on the side of the big uh, natural area. Uh, we'll see that. We'll go over there. But here is the elk. my area it looks on the map that if I follow this way you call here Yes, 
so there's a lot of life here. I've seen uh, trucks of deers, a lot of deers, a lot of elks. They've been sleeping just a few hundred meters. I can see the melted uh, sleeping place. And here it's very interesting because uh, this is a predator. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a wolf because it's a little bit too small. But uh, at the same time, it's a little bit big for a fox. So, don't know. Don't know what this is. Very interesting. Look at that. But this is quite, quite small. This is my hand. You see the size? Our big hands. But, uh, yeah. Yes, elk trucks. And this is next. An elk that's been uh, sleeping here. Yes, yeah, so I'm coming to the, the next lake over there. It's all coming up. And just now, you see these trucks. These trucks here. Ding, 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 ding. Wow, this is a big one. Look at my, it's as big as my feet. Uh, but just now I saw an elk going this direction. Okay to go, five centimeters is enough to go on the ice. And here is uh, 10, 15, can maybe more. Definitely okay. Here again. So yeah, here's my uh, sleeping trees and the sunset here.
Looks like they found me. from the tree oh, it's a uh, minus 12 and it's nice and cozy here damn you hear that is that is that fucking helicopter again I brought a lot of uh, canning tools tonight. I brought uh, a very good uh, survival knife, which is a new version of the F1. I really like this knife. It's a uh, it's a beautiful knife and it's a very trusty knife. Really like it. I brought uh, a big silky saw. You know, you know how it is. And I brought the axe. Yeah. Wow. Nice and toasty here. Look at that. The fat wood. It was uh, quite close to minus 15 this night, and I had to redo my bed with uh, with branches in the middle of the night, like three o'clock, because I was cold, and I slept with all my everything I had warm on me, but. Uh, and it was after I did the bed. We did the bed. It was it was okay. It was not like comfy, but um, I could sleep and not lose too much energy. Yes. Now I need to do some coffee. I think I will go. I take everything to do coffee and go to the lake in the sun.
Goofy one feet and zoom seems like yeah it's rising a bit it's minus yeah otta minus minus eight now starting to be a bit warmer ah, but the I think it's time for a little bit of I need to take a bit of sun now. I'm all warm. I've been drying my socks, warming up my feet. Took a nice coffee. I take more coffee. Uh, not here, but to the next lake. Yeah. Oh, the hair. Beautiful. It's funny how, how fast you get used to, to cold. Because uh, yesterday I started uh, hiking at the warmest of the day. It was around 1 o'clock and it was minus 6, 5, 6. And it was really the warmest of the day. I, I knew it. Um, Still, uh, it's, it, it felt quite cold, you know, it was like you have the whole backpack and you're not used to carrying uh, heavy pack and you go straight in the forest and uh, and it feels like uh, it, was, it's, it was beautiful weather like this, but I could feel like, wow, now it's cold and then, uh, but the temperature really dropped in, in the night to uh, when the sun uh, went down it was it was minus 10 11 and then when I woke up uh, around three o'clock and I checked the temperature it was 14 15 under zero uh, and I was cold and I was uh, it, wa it was it was tough it was uh, so I redid uh, I took down a small tree and did a bed a proper bed uh, so I was I would lose lose less uh, heat from the floor. Um, it was I wanted to experiment a little bit uh, sleeping in cold weather and a yeah, nice with a nice beautiful view. Which I know it's stupid, but I wanted to experiment with my gear, and that was definitely the limit of it. It was I was okay after I did the bed but I was not comfy so I was you know it was still on the on the edge of being comfy um, and now it's uh, it's uh, it's around 11 12 today and it's temperature is uh, minus 8 in the shadow but here against the rock facing the sun it's probably very close to 10 degree or something like this and it's 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 no comparison with yesterday it's, it's the same weather as yesterday same time and it just feels so warm i feel like i'm in a in a house you know i've been going through much colder in the night so it makes me think that we get very quickly used to cold
Yes. So. Uh, I'd like to do a, a little uh, sum up the tools I've been using. This was uh, quite tough conditions. Uh, the night was quite cold, and then uh, I wanted to sleep here for the view and stuff. But I, it's definitely not a good uh, place to sleep when it's cold. But uh, I did that, and I got cold, so I had to wake up in the middle of the night and redo the bed. Uh, what I wanted to say is that I brought uh, a big saw. So this is definitely what I use the most. The saw I've been using a lot, uh, building the bed, doing the fire. Uh, I brought uh, a very good, uh, very good knife, F1. I have to be honest, I didn't use it at all, not at all. So I could come and not bring it because what I use all the time it's just a little folder something I have all the time in my pocket and I just mainly for food preparation but as well to you know cut a little thing in wood and goes fast because it's always there and it doesn't weight anything and it's like it's uh, it's definitely the one I use the most so uh, this this, this I, I love this knife you know I, I really like it but I don't use it and be honest I haven't been using it I've been using this and I've been using a small uh, small axe um, especially to do the bed in the middle of the night I had to take down uh, I, I took down a small tree and clean uh, and clean it with the axe the axe is really good for building it's a hammer it's a it's a, it's a carpenter tool so it's more the carpenting tool it's not for cutting trees I use this uh, here I mainly cut branches because it's a lot of uh, tal I don't know in English spruce I guess uh, into spruce oh. Uh, and I cut big branches and it's fat wood, it, it's burning for hours uh, so you can burn logs together and this is really good this is the main tool when it's when it's cold and winter I use this and this and then a little axe for cap hunting doing a bed pitching up uh, a tent or tarp but this time I didn't have any top, I just slept like this, no BV, no top. And these are the three, three tools I've been using. Yes, but definitely priority to the so before the axe from far. A small knife and a big saw. So.